All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Level two, I've seen higher, but still, very commendable. Very, very commendable. Let me get this game off and we're gonna check audio and we're gonna look about expanding so we can start launching some rockets and get science and space and stuff. So, um, see how Things sound on the stream. They sound well like me, so. Uh, hey, Alfie 18, how the heck are you? There's a hot spot on my head. All right, launch Factorio. Good morning, moving to Pluto. Uh, ooh, oh nice. That's noisy. That was real noisy. All right, we want to continue. And we're gonna do a, s wow. Okay, let's do a save. Part 15, saving. All right, so we have some solar to finish. How is the pollution? Wow, not bad. So we got some bad guys there, bad guys there. And I think to make this as easy as possible, we're just gonna go east. What is your favorite waffle? Jillian, my favorite waffle, I'm glad you asked because waffles are important. Waffles. Waffles. All right. Uh, so east. So how do we gonna do this? A lot of water in the way. And we need a separate power grid too. So, a lot of space down here. 
Looks like we're gonna have to do some landfill. You missed another one. Sorry, torts. Sorry. All right, hang on. I'm trying to. So if we fill this in, stupid work meeting, stupid work, stupid thing that pays my bills. I know, I know. All right, so we can do, we can do a um, um, a junction here to come out, and. Um, Well, I'm thinking we, we put our solar grid for the rocket here. Um, do we have stuff? Oh, not too many. Oh, all right. All right. All right, let's just start building some rails, shall we? Um, let's, um... Actually, what we should do is let's go to him and oh, okay. Hang on. I'm, I'm all over the place. So if we come out of here and I fill this in, it's gonna take a lot of landfill, but this would be a great spot for something like this. Yeah. So we can put, unless there's bugs there. Huh. So let's do that. Let's um start with some landfill. Um, Let's do like 3,000. Oh, wait, hang on. Before we do that, let's get these guys closer to the source. Oops. Actually, let's get them. Yeah, right here. So let's bring them up here. And probably if we're going to be doing a lot of this. All right, hang on. Evidently, I don't have the goods to do stuff. Let's, let's cause some problems here. So we got some landfill. That's good. Um, and here comes some robots to drop off some stuff. Oh, let's do some research. Ooh. Uh, lasers. I've never used this whole hole to, no, never did it. Upgrade that. Military science. All right. Okay. Oh, 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 look at it. I got this to clean up. So let's uh, increase this to say 800. I'm going to add a whole bunch of these because I think there's going to be a lot of logistics bots over here when I try doing all the uh, stuff. You know, stuff. Oh, do, 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 do. In fact, wait a minute. If I do that, and what if we do... We gotta build it so I can see where stuff is going. Actually, no, let's not do that yet. All right. All right, so today and tomorrow, last two days of streaming this week, because we're uh, taking Thursday and Friday off, me and Alex. Moving stuff. We got Alex's Jr.'s uh, bed and um, piece of wardrobe all set up. She's ready to move in. Just have to bring her stuff. 
Alright, so can I cancel that? There we go. Alright, let's do that. There we go. Oh, need power. So if we do... That. Oh, that didn't work. That was weird. I was in the way. And I didn't know it. There we go. Now let's copy and put it right there. Let's get some power. What I'm trying to do is to create a, a better bridge so they can have um, locations to uh, charge. I don't know if it's a good thing, but I think it's going to help. We need one, two, three, three more. One, two, and three. All right. All right, let's go over here and cause some real problems here. So let's change this to say um, 3,000. Actually, before I do that, how much do we have? So 4.8. Right, so we should be able to accommodate easily. them all fill up um i'm done so let them do their thing <clears throat> um so oh 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 right so this coal is going to dry up which is a good thing this was the old coal feed um, because we ran out of coal at the startup location. It happens. And um, then I said, well, okay, let me bring coal from another source. This is going to be faster if I do that, I bet. Look at that, it's faster. Um, and I still had to feed coal to some smelting and to the factory floor, as I call it. But I think... We don't need to do this big string of coal anymore. And we're gonna find out here in a sec. Right. So I believe, and also this station is abandoned. What I mean is there's no train track here. Instead, I need to put a track here for solid fuel. Oh, look at that. Um, so here's our coal for the factory that goes up and supplies. So as soon as this line dries up, then I can easily pull up to supply that. Uh, that'll be a good thing. But that leaves this almost out of um, coal. What I want to do is... Um, 
see here. If we do... We sever there. And... Um... Place that. That. All right, excellent. So, what I want to do. I want to use up all this coal so I can set up a station for um, solid fuel. The solid fuel uh, lasts longer. We need this for backup just in case we run into some issues. So, um, let's do. Buckets. So, there's not much in those buckets. So, I think I might get away with something like that. And then if we actually bring the feed from this one side, oh wait, let's do this. Hang on, hang on. Little sloppiness here. What I'm known for. Because then we could do that. There we go. And it looks like we are going to empty. I don't need that. So I'd like to get this set up before I forget, and then our steam doesn't have any power whatsoever. It looks like they've gotten all their landfill. They've gotten their fill. So let's um Okay. Oh, sweet. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Oop, let me do that. Slipped. All right. So now, um, actually. Uh, self-sufficient for a second here. Let's go up and pick this up. And let's do a another unload. have no oh no 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 okay so this needs to be set to that back and I can make some okay now let's try that again yeah perfect all right. wait all right um darn <laughs> Um, so I guess I could put, if I try to put it here, oh, it does work. All right. So let's, um, get rid of that. I was close. I need some more um, stone. Wait, there you go. All 
And then, all right, good. Don't need that. All right, so, um, but I need to find some stone real super quick. There'd be some rocks laying around here somewhere. Anywhere. Unless this is one part of the desert that has no stone at all. So oil. Uh, this is, this is part of the desert that doesn't have any stone. It's a stoneless desert. There we go. Finally. Jeez. Question is, where do we pick up the solid fuel from? I forgot. Um, is that all the way? Solid fuel for refuel. All right. So, we have to make another train. So let's go. Let's go see if by chance we have a train. So I wish to request engine and it appears we have four all right then we're gonna do see if there's any cars we got four cars perfect for that now i got itchy nose uh let's bump this up to 200 So we're gonna set up solid fuel going to our uh, backup power with um, the, uh, a train, since we have a source. Then we'll go down and double check the, um, the coal and make sure, because that's gonna run dry, which means it's not a big deal. We just stop making um, rockets or uh, explosives for the rockets. Words. Got all those, get rid of that. And um, then we're gonna go on um, a big rail expansion. I think we'll do a junction here. We'll just do a big straight line. And then we're gonna set up a big landfill project here. These guys are all poised and ready. And we're gonna drop solar out here. And then we'll have to separate the grid. Uh, oh, okay. So what I wanted to do was uh, this. this that all right so now we do a new train new train stop we're gonna call this um solid fuel for Generator. So, don't need multiple trains. One will be fine. All right, let's hop aboard. Give it a little bit of fuel. And first thing we want to do is add a station to get our fuel. We're going to go there. We're going to wait for full cargo. Then we're going to go get refueled ourselves.
Then we're going to go and drop this off. All right, let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. Hang on. What's going on over here? Oh, that's just the uh, concrete. Okay. I'm good. Good. Whoa. That was close. We should be heading to getting refueled. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Nice. Oh. Long train tr rides, that's for sure. Make sure you got your Polaroid out. Take a few uh, action shots. Because I love people. filled up and we should be heading back to the generator we are sweet I don't I'm recluse <laughs> I was semi quoting uh, uh, Bill Murray from stripes he was a taxi cab driver and he had to transport a snooty lady and her luggage into the airport she was not a very nice person and one of his part part of the line was take this job because I like people. All right. So that looks like that's going to work just fine. Now, if I'm going to do a whole bunch of track Right here, this steel is almost dead. Well, it is dead. There's no more steel going to it. And this is only a feed to the robotic factory, which they only add robots when we start working them really hard. Something like that. All right, so let's go down here. People. I like to wave at them as they pass by. <laughs> there you go. You could be a celebrity. Oh, what's going on with our stone? Well, that's not good. Oh, I know why. It's because we're making a landfill. Interesting. I right, see it's coming through, but it's being plucked. Is this being balanced when it comes off? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. All right. All right, that's fine. Got a little nervous. All right, a uh, bunch of train tracks. So let's uh, set up for that. Okay, so when this coal is done, um, I'm just gonna have to drag off of here and feed to there. So that's gonna be a uh, pretty easy fix. All right, so let's, let's take uh, a thousand 
rails. And let's say we want, let's go with a hundred of these. Let's bump this up to say 200. Um, say we want 200 of those. Well, yes, you, you're absolutely right, of course, Quad. Um, it's a space constraint I have up there. So, hang on, let me see if I can fix it as soon as I get reloaded here. That, that makes perfect sense. What science requires stone? Is it military? No, that's stone brick for military. Um, ah, so it's uh, purple. Okay. Oh, wait. No, just purple. All right. Purple for the rails. Yes. You know, it's fine. I just call it purple. What is that? It's um, production science. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, it's, oh, there's some purple science right there, too. All right. Oh, trying to get restocked here. Then we're going to go uh, address what Quad pointed out. Now, we're not running into any resource issues, are we? No. What about... What am I looking for? Um, here. No. And no, sweet. All right. Now, when we get into full bore uh, science, I think I have to upgrade my blue science um, circuits. The blue circuits, not blue science. All right. Let's go up here and um, do what. Quad recommended. So we have we have space. Absolutely. All right. So let's let's do it. So instead of doing a four to two because that's all I thought I needed, we'll do a four to four. backwards on this and make sure I don't so we need to do it this way see that I almost hit the train not really so busy all right so we don't need that there anymore And hang on.
ran into a rock. All right. I guess the question is, how many trains do I have doing stone? Just one. I think we're gonna add another another train. I got one there. I got one there. All right. So can I make another train? can't so we got to request engines all right Monster, dude. Risque. All right, so now oh, I'm not on the right screen. All right, let's make one of those. Or those. I had a turkey burger for uh, breakfast. Very filling, very yummy. Tell you what, this uh, last three or four weeks has been very taxing for Alex. She goes, she gets up, she takes Alex Jr. to school, then she goes to work, she does her work, she comes here, has to do some more work, and then we go and have a nutritionish, a, nu a good meal. Nutritional there. But hopefully, um, the amount of time being spent over here and on Saturdays, um, we still have stuff to do. Like, we got all these um, uh, uh, cooking wares that we have to put away. And um, I'll be honest with you, I don't really trust the stock cabinets uh, shelf holders. So I actually made some, I, I 3D printed some. They're pretty darn rigid. So we're gonna try to figure out where we wanna put stuff cabinet wise. I know, I know where the snacks go. 
So I've got the important cabinet. And I think I'm too bright. I got too much light going on here. Let me see if I can fix that. But first of all, let me deactivate, reactivate. All right, stay the same. So let's go and maybe on the color correction, bring down the brightness, maybe. All right, then maybe the contrast. All right, I like that a little bit better. Still have a hot spot on my noggin. All right, so we're all stocked up. Let's uh, head over here. Hopefully we don't get hit. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so um, hang on, you stay. Go to manual, thank you. We're gonna add our train that we just made. Run the wrong way. And add you, 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 and you. And we copy your route information, give you some fuel. All right, actually we're gonna steal a couple of chunks of your fuel. There we go. Then we put you on auto. So you should pull up that stop and then you should take off. And then you should pull in. There you go. All right, sweet. They were good. All right, so. Um, so we should now have solid fuel going to the generator. Nice. Oh, I got to go connect that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's right, I'm do-doing. Do-do-do. So we connect that, so we're good. Um, and then, like I said, our coal feed to make the explosives is right there. And getting thin, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, let's start our expansion. Um, got some solar panels to fill in but i think we're going to hang on to it for what we can add on for what we're going to do so first things first we're just going to go with the rail network and i think right here so this is our factory this is our entire factory floor as i'm calling it so when we branch out from here hey mana how you doing when we branch out for here, this will be our rocket production floor or something like that. So we'll have to separate the power. You're, do, you're doofing good. Excellent. You should talk to Dr. Doof. Doing, I get it. I know, I know. Ran into a rock. Hey, hey, Saturn, what's up with you? Well, after the stream, I've been, uh, I've got these um, shelf rails. Uh, you know, you, you, you put them into the wall and you can hang shelf uh, and sh the brackets and then the shelf. So the, my previous one, what's up the ceiling? Yeah. It's tongue and groove, tongue and groove ceiling. Um, these were what I used to use over at the other office. So they were all painted green, so green screen. And right now I'm using um, a sheet. Hang on, I'll show you. No real magic here. There's my sheet. Um, 
So behind the sheet, I, I still have a four inch gap between the brick because what you guys can't see, hang on, it's kind of weird to describe. So let me just show you here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. The, um, the sheet is actually, there's half of a, the fireplace doesn't work. So the fireplace hasn't been working for a much longer time. Uh, and we're not gonna do anything with it except for we're gonna probably put an insert. And by the time I do that, I'll have a different green screen set up. You enjoyed the stream for today. Thanks, Saturn. So I can still put my shelf rails, the brackets and a shelf because I have a couple of bins that went on the shelf and so it'll be behind me. So I need to unload the bins before soon. Before we move in. Oh, I didn't get any lights. Dang it. So I got to make those. So anyways, there's that. So now I got one more rail and I, and to get the paint off, I've got a wire whisk tool on one of my, uh, my drills. So I've been whisking off the, uh, the green paint and then I sand it and then I'm gonna just repaint them white when they go up. All right, so we should be good, good to go now. That was a lot of explanation for simply what I've been doing after the stream. Probably got way more than you wanted to hear about. So the first part of the project is to get solar set up. Also, I have to find a location to put the rockets at. Um, maybe down here. But it's a couple. There's, ooh, actually, maybe right, right here would be nice. Actually, this is a. a I think this would be a better spot right here. All right. So we're just gonna use up all these rails. They're gonna bring over the uh, spider trons and we're going to do some landfill. That should be fun. Good morning to you. How the heck are you doing? some coming here oh oh excuse me Let's um, see about some landfill here. It's gonna take a lot of landfill too. Uh, 
Okay, so this is where our project starts. Let's get the Spider-Trons over here. So we're going to set up solar here, part of it anyways, and this will be separate grid. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll disconnect this power pole here. All right. So let's turn this off. Grab some buckets here. Won't be needing those or those or those or those, those. Those, 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 bucket, those, those, those. We'll keep the rest. All right. Uh, trunk, landfill, nice. All right. So here we go. Oh. It's, um, Start in on it here. So everyone's empty, right? One, two, three, four, and five robots. All right, let's send you back to get refilled. I've learned that if I decide to build over here and I connect to the grid, it takes all the power from here. So if I have adequate power to do all the labs, to do all the science factory, all the production for everything for the science factories, I want to keep their power alone. I want to leave it alone. So I'm going to build a solar farm here, very similar to what I have here but I'm going to disconnect this wire here so that th this grid stays separate. That way when I have a power problem, I, I know where to fix it. Uh, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. I think that will uh, be a fine placement. Actually, what I should do should copy should copy this Oop. there we go and uh I don't necessarily have to go over where the copper is. Whoa.
Yeah, so this... This one we could say goodbye to. Alright. Sweet. I get on the mini map when I see red dots, I think bad guys. All right. Not quite enough of a lip to get all the way across. All right. So we need to increase this by, uh, hang on, let's do some math here. Math on stream. So 53 per, so let's just say 55. That's an easier number. And how many did I put down? Four. So say 225 just to be sure oops i keep hitting all the wrong keys we'll do 250. oh didn't want to do that oh i'd have to leave no bot behind Where's he at? There he is. Wait, I lost him. Is he over the water? Is that him? Oh, there he is. Sorry, I'm so sorry, dude. All right. Let's um start doing some solar. Uh oh, where did I put my stuff at? Oh, wait, I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that wasn't very smart. And just to make sure, oh, oops. I'm sure it's just solar panels. All fixed. So what I need to do is I need to add another Mark III battery or a couple more. So we're going to... Because when these robots start flying... All right. You guys want to come back here, please? Appreciate it. Oh, let's do... Uh, there. Then we're going to separate that. Oh, geez. Um, We need to get all the solar stuff we can. Dang it. I know. Wait, what? What happened? Wow, they're ready to go. Sweet. 
right, let's, um, uh, let's, oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to connect my stone. No, 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 that's bad. Not sure why I'm even hungry in the first place. Or I had something to eat. I usually chalk it up to boredom, you know? Just probably inaccurate. All right, so let's grab, oh, okay. There we go. So now, oh, I can't fit another one in there. Um, hang on, let's figure this out. need the rails now uh let's reduce this down to uh say 250. i need to make room for uh solar stuff so let's do that um actually let's just zero that out let's increase this to 300. Uh, uh, let's, uh, throw this out. I'm a boy. I a different voice because I broke these and I think I fixed them. So hopefully I sound like someone from a bad movie. Thanks, Race. Oh, Race, hey, thanks a lot for, uh, for doing my text-to-speech yesterday. I really appreciate that. For those that don't know... All of the the new interactions you guys can do, um, you know, with the, the, the laughter and the, all that, there's one that actually requires bits, and Race was the first one to do it, and it's me, it's my voice talking in AI, text-to-speech, whatever. So again, Race, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that a lot. All right, so we'll keep the landfill. Uh, let's reduce this down to 50. Just trying to make some room here. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you should see like, uh, I don't know if it works on mobile, but on the web browser, there should be two little icons on the stream. And one of them is the new uh, overlay interactions. All right, so now let's stock up on as much solar stuff as we can. Nice and nice. And, okay, cool. I wanna make sure I don't have any of those, that's good. And actually we need to increase the lights, say 150. I'm all over the place with this. I saw it before and was tempted, but the solar conversation seemed like a perfect time. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I got you. I hear you. Good morning, Boo, how are you? That rhymes too. Yeah, it shouldn't be too far, too long after we move in. Because when I build it, I actually want to build it in a, in a, how do I say this? I want to build it so I can actually use it. You're doing all right? Trying to get settled in for the morning. I'm doing awesome. Yeah, I had a, a turkey burger for breakfast and a banana. Didn't sound very good, but it was yummy. 
seasoned salt and pepper, you know. We we're gonna have that in our spaghetti last night, but uh, it was gonna take too long. Uh, but basically what I wanna do is I wanna put this solar battery backup system in the garage, mounted, and very easy to switch on and off. Uh, but to do that, I need to put up um, bananas seasoned with salt and pepper and spaghetti. No, mm, no. So Alex and I put up um, the first half of the sheetrock, which doesn't sound hard to do, but we're covering up a window and to cover up the window, I went and I pulled off it, the window's been broken for like 30 years, just just one panel. And to get that panel replaced or to get the window removed, too expensive because it's an old window. Um, so what I did is I pulled off the storm window. So it's, it's an exterior window in the garage only. And over all the windows, we have storm windows. So when I come, California, we don't have storm windows. In Key West, when I lived in there, we had storm windows, but they're the ones that you folded in over the windows and put big two by fours over them. So it's got a storm window. And um, so it's, it's, it's got no chance of water getting in unless that window gets broken. Um, so what I did is I, I cleaned the window so and got rid of all the cobwebs and stuff. And then I put, uh, I, I put some of that rigid foam board that's got the pink panther on it and I cut out pieces to fit, but I painted that side of it black. Then on this side, I used some of that HVAC tape to tape it up. And then I put um, a thermal barrier over that and I, I secured that. So the window is covered, but here's, here's the tricky part is that, so there's a frame, a two by four frame inside the brick for a window to fit in. But the window also has its own uh, frame but the frame stuck out of the of the two by four frame by on this side a half an inch and on this side a quarter of an inch. So we had to create some blocking all the way across so that the sheetrock didn't push in or push out. And it took us a while to figure out what we needed, but we got it all situated. We know what we needed. So, but to do the top half, I got to do two things. I need to trace out the frame of where the window is so I know where there's wood and there's glass. So if I ever decide to mount anything to that, I don't try to drill into glass. That would be bad. I mean, eat turkey sausage for breakfast seems pretty close to minus some fennel seed. Oh, yeah, I got you, yeah. Turkey sausage sounds good. I have no, no aversions to that. So I need to trace out the frame. So when we put up the second two sheets, which is in the garage, um, I can continue and know exactly where the window frame is and the window, but I can't put that up because the water heater power that goes to the breaker box is at the very top and the sheetrock would cover it and I don't want to do that. So I got to move that wire. All right, so we're trying to load up on some solar stuff here. So as soon as I get the sheetrock up, then I can situate my cabinets and my, my workbench, and then I can start on my solar project. So yay. All right, let's go see how much we can deploy. All right, and um, we can bring those guys along. Well, I've had um, deep fried banana. I've had banana cream pie, which I didn't think I would like because I didn't think I liked um, coconut in, in pies, but someone made a homemade banana cream pie and it was so good. Oh, couldn't believe it. All right, let's see here. Oh, we got new batteries in, right? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I, I never experienced a banana cream. I, I think I tried it once at Marie Calendars, but theirs was terrible. Hmm. All right, so we should be on our own separate power grid here. Look at that. <laughs> Sun's coming out, so we're generating power. 
It's cool. Oh, plantains versus bananas. Yeah. I've never had a plantain though. It looks like a big fat banana though. It's a starchy banana. All right. You know, that might be right up, um, uh, Alex is, uh, doing a Mediterranean diet for a while, and no problem with me, I'm on board. So, uh, we've been having, you know, salmon and, uh, the bread we've been eating. Well, I've been eating a 12 green bread, but she wants to stay away from processed bread. The spaghetti sauce, so we had whole grain noodles or spaghetti, and the sauce, uh, it, nothing in it has got preservatives. It's all natural. Uh, the bad thing about it is it don't last very long. So, you know, you gotta plan out how much sauce when you open it, you know? That was good spaghetti last night. A Peruvian chicken joint. Yeah, we're kind of limited on what we have. I've had salted plantain banana chips. It was fine. But I was imagining that it was fresh bananas. I can't imagine what fresh banana with salt and pepper. Oh, I, I gotcha. I've had yucca. I've had yucca plant before. I've tried some uh, interesting things when I was in the Navy. When I was in Japan, um... Oh, we're out of stuff. Uh, when I was in Japan, I had shark and eel. Did not care for the eel. Too chewy. And it was raw, too. Okay. But the shark was... Um, what do you say? When you have a meat that's gamey, so you could say fish is too fishy, but it didn't taste too fish or even smell. It's, it, it was gamey, is what I want to say. All right, so not a whole lot of power out here. We're just gonna walk through and do some cleanup here. And we have some more landfill we can do. So let's do this, do that. It seems like carnivore. Yeah, I'm a meat eater. Oh yeah, yeah, we got, we got, um, how many? We got 192 of those things we can distribute, yes. <sighs> Want to get all these, um, what are these called? Substations. Need to get all the substations in place so that the solar power, the solar panels can actually power and store or get power to the, uh, the accumulators, the batteries, right? Yeah, accumulators. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, wait. Come on, guys. Catch up. I got some stragglers. Oh, I got you. Oh, it looks like we, uh, no, we got a few that we missed. All right.
I know that Alex, uh, she's been on this diet for almost two weeks and she feels better. I run out of steam because I get up at a godly hour in the morning four or five o'clock in the morning. So I run out of steam. All right, let's um get these guys down here. Whoops. All right, so give me your rest. Oh, interesting. Maybe I already, did I already pick yours up? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm confused. All right, trunk, trunk. There we go, trunk. Got it. So close. Okay. That's it, huh? All right. Let's reset what we need to do here. All right, so we got some rail out. Um, I think I want to put my rockets down here. Um, looking for a nice blank piece of real estate. Actually, that would be pretty nice too. That doesn't have a whole lot of resources in or around it. That would be nice. All right, so let's build um, rail down. Yeah. All right, so let's go do some more rail work. Stock up on about 2,000 rails. And we'll need 200 of that, I think. Let's say 400 lights. What else? Power poles should have enough. Uh, this we can dial back on. Um, All 
All right, so how much power do we have? Well, looks like we, well, we don't have a demand and we're storing 6.8 gigajoules. That's not bad at all. All right, let's send, um, send these guys back to get refueled, refilled, not fueled. All right, and then I'm gonna go get restocked. We're gonna do some more rails. Um, I think the idea is I'm gonna take a junction off of here and come down here, and then we're going to uh, place, I'm gonna place four rocket silos, and then uh, four more. I wanna be able to do eight rockets without resource issues. That's my goal. Um, so I'm going to do the rail down there, but I think I need to address the blue science or the chemical science. I don't seem to be making enough to last long enough. Maybe also purple. So once we find out the location that we're going to put these in, I got to make sure I have enough space for rails to come in. Uh, conveyor belts, sorry. Belts. And then we start collecting the resources. That's empty. Yeah. Orion, happy Tuesday to you as well. Oh, we got to turn that on. There we go. How goes the effort to seek out new civilizations and blow them up? Well, we'll be expanding our uh, our pollution, so I'll have to go out and about. I'm trying to use the Spider-Trons and their cargo capacity to do a massive landfill for solar. That's our, that's our power grid so far. I gave them a wide berth last time, or the, uh, one of us did that, I don't know. So I'm wanting to stock up on stuff so I can go out and do some rails stuff. Last time I ran out of uh, lights, lamps. Yeah, yeah, we I've been extremely busy. So I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with our power grid here. The only thing I have a question about is the uh, if I go to do some research, um, I have a another red and green set up. I don't have feeds into it. Um, the military, I think, can keep up. It's the uh, the blue science, the chemical science. So I think I have to add another one. Or buffer boxes, maybe. I'll try buffer boxes first. All right, so that, that's a, a good good question here. So maybe I should do that. Do some buffer boxes here. Um, so 
So in theory, we'd pick it up, store it. I guess that doesn't matter what side of the belt that's going on because it's going to go there anyways. All right, it doesn't matter. All right, and then the, the blue science needs heavy on red, sulfur, and steel. All right, so we got all that coming in just fine. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, let's get restocked on what I used here. And then head out. Ugh. 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 Those guns. Wait, what guns? I got a, a rocket launcher. Oh, my arms. No, 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 no. I, I got the old man flab going on here too, you know. So. I'm about six foot three, about 312 pounds. So, you know, I got some girth. Uh, are we done? We are not done. What's taking so long here? Oh, all right. Come on. One more. All right. Wait. Now we're done. All right. Let's go do some trains. Um, I would imagine the landfill is just trickling in, right? No way. Wait. You got 4,000? So everyone's got 4,000, huh? Wow. All right. We'll call you guys in when we're done. Exactly six foot three. <laughs> Whoa. You know, there's nothing wrong with meat. George Washington gun. <laughs> All right, so this is where we need to, um... Need to expand our rail. And then what I'm gonna do is add a, a stop so I don't have to walk out here all the time. I can take a train. All right, so the plan was, after this copper, <clears throat> we're gonna put a junction. All right, that should be good. So we'll put a junction right here. gonna keep coming straight down then we're gonna have to go 
I don't want to go through that because that's quite a bit. So I could either come down, hang, and then God, I almost I almost could connect this and I probably will too. That'd be a shorter route. But there's resources out here, so that's why I'm doing that. Come down, split that, and then split that. All right, change of plan. Oh. Uh. All right. Um. No, no, we'll, we'll go past the coal. Yeah, I, I've rage quit that game twice. I do okay until things are so congested, I can't get electrical to where I need it. And uh, I just, I, I'm, and it's funny because they have the same things in stationers. And for some reason I can't seem in a 2D screen to get things to where I want. And, and my mindset of the, what are they called? Replicants, um, the copies, what are they, what are they called? The, well, the little guys that when they, when they do stupid things and get themselves trapped and I can't rescue them in time and they die, du duplicates. And they, it affects the morale of everyone. I'm just going, well, I tried, you know, so. It does have a steep learning curve, mostly because you are also in a race for survival. That's true. You got to worry about food and water. And then they constantly pee their pants. So we're gonna bring this out to here. One more maybe. Your GPU is using 36% resources on Twitch. Um, you mean the, the website? You have multiple browser tabs open on multiple uh, streams? Oh, just my stream? Wow, I'm, I'm causing your CPU to bottleneck i feel bad uh what happens if i add one more uh that'll work well it, it is pulling video right so you are watching video it's the same thing happens when i use chrome to watch netflix it 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 really it tanks my uh my gpu now there's a setting in Chrome where you can turn off hardware acceleration. That might help. I don't know what it's gonna do with performance though. So. 
Oh, you don't use Chrome. Oh, all right. I I was using Opera for a while. You can use Chrome extensions with Opera too. I just um too many too many uh too much running, you know. I'm on Firefax and my dinky mobile GPU is just fine, 10%. Uh, we're gonna run out of rails. Oh wait, where do I wanna go? I wanna put the rockets down here. All right, we're getting there. And you know, it makes sense to actually connect this too because that's a shorter thing. Run over and do that. Let's go. I need to disconnect the power grid. There you go. All right. Do, 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 do. We're saying right after this, this will be the rocket site, I think. Oh, no, right here. Right here. Let's keep going down. Let's see here. Uh, science. There we go. Oh. All right. Let's figure out where I want to put these. Um,
Now wait a minute, if these are using... Okay, those have got level two. So I should be able to do, if I'm not mistaken, if I do this and say from two, three, that actually upgrade inside the things. Oh, well, look at that. Nice. Now what else? Um, those are twos. So I want to do the same thing. Anything else? That's making the ones. So the question is, let's see here. Now, if I copy this and let's walk it over, let's give, give like, I don't know. Oh, 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 I know a way to do this. All right. How about if we do one, two, three, four, five, we'll do like 10 spaces between each one. Oops. So that's four. And then all the inputs going down here. All right. All right, no problem, man. I have a good one. Enjoy the movie. Um, so let's increase this to say 1500. And actually what I should do is look at my blueprint for this. And it needs, um, needs 41 of those. All right. So let's go here, go there and we'll do 45. I should be, I should be able to make the other stuff on the fly. I think, let's see. Oh, except for the actual rocket launch. Yeah, I can make all that on the fly. Request, we got engines coming in. All right. I got to automate my uh, rocket engines. Oh, let's go up here and do some more um, landfill. Question is what what movie are they going to watch? Landfill, send them back. Let's uh, start getting all the rocket silos built. So I'll build four, copy it, flip it, and then give it space, like maybe, I don't know, 30 spaces between or something like that. Hey guys, how you guys doing? All right, so uh, trunk. Oh, yeah, I don't have that much trunk space. All right, whatever.
All right, so let's send these guys back to there. And um, let's see here. I think, um, what do I have on me? I don't have any rails, so I'm gonna load up with, make a rail station. Uh, where am I at? Oh, let's see if I can go build a rail station. Do I have a train? No, I don't have a train, so oh, wait, can I make a train? I can make a train. All right, let's, um, oh. A little dodgy here. Oh, I might as well just go stock up this day. Oh, let's check in with the buffer boxes for purple science too. Oh, I'm sorry, on the blue science. All right, it's gonna take a while. All right, let's get stocked up here. All right, guys, how about if I take a little uh, little bio break, a little 10, 15 minute break, and uh, we'll get this game going, and then um, I'll be back, and we'll uh, go lay out some groundwork for the rocket silos, get myself a little train network going back and forth so I don't have to run all over the place because that's not very exciting to watch, and... Yeah, we'll do that. I'll be back soon.
And I am back, alrighty. How'd you guys do? Wow, nice, torch. Way to go, guys. Ooh, level seven. Sweet. All right. So, uh, I got me a, a fresh dooski here. Sweet. All right. So, um, gonna take a while for this buffer box. Is there anything I need to research? Do I really need I don't really need that. Oh, okay. We could take, uh, Ooh, more laser stuff. Yes. All right. All right. So our plan was, Oh, I need to, um, I need to automate the rocket. Where is that thing at? There it is. We got those, got those. I got, I got all that stuff. All right. So we can, um, so you will go here. All right, then we'll do this. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. My bad. Here we go. Do that. Oh, okay. So I've, I've been sitting here this whole time and I, I wasn't getting restocked because I forgot to clicky the button.
Do this. Do that. Do this. And we'll limit to like... I gotta find something while I'm waiting for it to get restocked here. more oh there is all right i don't think i need these guys but um we might have to get into some laser defenses so having good lasers would be nice all right so this is all here so let's do that do that all that stuff's gonna come in and get stored all right can i make one how long does it take to make one 30 seconds i need a thousand I don't need 200 lights. Um, I need a thousand concrete to make one though. All right, let's um, let's just let it do it. All right. Oh, that's right. I was gonna do a rail. Um, where can I put my own train track? Right here, I guess. Or, no, it won't fit here. So we want a an unloading. Won't fit there. Gonna have to fit over here. Actually don't need all these rails or all this well might need it on one side it's interesting how some things pick up faster than other things Leave the light.
all this. Now those are unloading. Probably don't need these many inserters, but we'll figure that out. Like the lights being there. See what I'm doing. Um. Oh. Right, this is my train. Yay! I have a train. Some fuel on it. And it looks like I'm outside of the network. So if I want to get stuff to build stuff, I have to add the network. So we will add that later. So let's add enough fuel because I'm going to fall upon it. All right, there we go. All right, um, sweet. It's um, more fast lasers. I don't need any of this other stuff. And that's science all right are we good no we're still getting restocked all right Um, oh, do I have, dang it, I'm stuck. Ooh, I got two of them. I'll take two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip down. We're gonna deploy as much as we can. I think I'm gonna put, um, well, we need to get copper and iron, which is right here. So I think we can just drop drills, smelt and drag. Yep, we can do that. Oh, we gotta work on the power grid. Or ah, still waiting on those. Doo -doo 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 -doo. One sec, guys. I'm sorry. Being distracted here. All right. 
Are we good? We're good, finally. All right. Let's go this way. Oh, all right. So seeing this coal reminds me to check how the coal is doing here. All right. I guess, like I said, it's okay because we're only using it to make explosives. All right, so let's head out. We're, we'll work on that. Whoa, geez. I almost got killed. That would have been terrible. Horrible. Awful. Grotesque. I don't know. Let's put another just put it right here. I have a train coming. There it is. Oh, join manual. Now I got a way to get around. Out running all over the place. Let's make some of those. Oh, not that I needed them there. Oh, well. Never know. Probably don't need them. All right. Let's go down here. One thing I got to automate is the uh, longer red arms. Definitely don't have those automated. All right, so let's see here. I need to make, so if I look at the blueprint, I need one and one, okay. So let's do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, 
let's get some power on here. So how many? 17. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So, also, we need um, four, six, five, six, seven, eight, five, and eleven, twelve. So instead of bringing these resources from the factory floor, we're gonna do it out here. That way there's not a drain. like we need to put power poles between these. Cool. Hmm. Alright, let's double this. Let's say we need 90 of those. What else can I make while I'm out here? Um, Head back, get restocked. We got a train now. Let's see here. First of all, let's add refueling station. And we add. 
Let me stop. Alright. It's my first train ride on my own train. Yay! We're going to be doing some drills, so um, I need to automate the red inserters. I don't know why I'm not doing that. And then you're waiting for full cargo, which is never going to happen. All right, sweet. So you can just stay there and well, let's put you. All right. All right. So we're automating those inserters. So if we say put that there and say this is for red, same stuff. Oh, geez. All right. Oh, it's nice to be on a train and not have to drive or, you know, run, dog, session, mosey, whatever it is. Oh. Busy intersection. So is this one. Oh, that leads into the refueling station. That makes sense. All righty. No, no, no. Yeah, you can just hang out there. You're supposed to wait for... Oh, oh, oh I did it wrong. Um... I think that would fix that. You're heading out. Family time is starting. I got you, Torch. Thanks for popping in. As always, I really appreciate it. Toodles. Right. 
We need... Okay, so far so good. Wow, we ran out of undergrounds again. Goinks. Um, we need... Let's do five of those. We need uh, one, two, three, four, five of those, 10 of those, then set this to say 30. All right, we need to get drills. I'm gonna say 250. Actually, let's say 500. And let's jack this up to say 1500. What we're going to do is we're going to drop, um, hmm. we're going to drop drills, drag, smelt, and drag. Same thing here. I need that space and I really don't want to give up the resources though. weird now if I don't do anything you're just gonna sit there because you're waiting for both of those conditions alrighty Oh, we're gonna need furnaces too. Let's say, I don't know, 88, 44. Yes, I use Bit Defender. I've been uh, very happy with it. I got the recommendation from Network Chuck.
Um, trying to make spots before I run out of spots. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, back to the rocket. <clears throat> a lot of back and forth. Because, oh, uh, I should say full cargo also. There. there we go. That'll stop. All right. Let's get the rest of this one filled in. Anything else out here? Looks like we need... One more of those somewhere. All right, cool. So this is gonna be the, for the copper, which is over here. Uh. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so let's see here. Let's just do some pseudo. Let's just say that's, that's where we want the copper to go. So, except for like this would go like this. A, uh, a pretty good movie last night or yesterday uh, The Vault and uh, Alex had to point out to me that the young engineer is the same actor that played Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the Johnny Depp version of Willy Wonka not a bad movie that's going to give me enough room to get stuff back and forth but it's a possibility then over here you want to drill down okay just like that <laughs> no, it's not. It, it's about um, a, 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 now he was. I I don't know the actor's name. He was in Game of Thrones, and he's his name. He goes by the name of Walter, I think, and he has a small team where he is a scavenger, um, but not like a, a hoarder. He has particular interests, and this one is um. He had to find a sunken boat to get a chest because it had coins that gave the location of something. So his mission was to get this chest, which he acquired, but because they were in waters owned by a country, it got confiscated. So it got stored in a vault in Spain, I think. So they needed someone to be able to crack this vault and the vault was built like, I don't know, um, 500 600 years ago so it 
not a modern vault, but needed an engineer to uh, solve the problem. Now the uh, Amazon has a Fallout series coming. All right, so where are we going to get power? First, we have to smelt. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're going to do some smelting. Um, Do I necessarily need to, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go with this. And we'll, we'll, this would give us four dedicated lines to do that. There was another show that's newer. Oh no, it was Silo. I think you're talking about Silo. I would love to see that, that's on Apple. All right, so this, this isn't gonna work out unless we go like this, I think. Yeah, I gotta wait until uh, Apple releases it. And uh, Alex and I were talking about all the streaming services we currently subscribe to, and some of them will be dropping. And unless there's a series on it that we want to watch very bad, we'll do the one month or four month or something like that. Yeah, but the premise of the silo, it, it, it's from a book, and I, 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 I've never read the book, so I don't know. So we want to go, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to four, all right? So we'll do a six. I'm out of undergrounds again. So, put a splitter and prioritize input. Same thing over here. Wrong side. One sec, guys. Thank you. 
All right. Um, I need a source of power. And it looks like that's the closest. So let's go. So right now we have a demand, we're generating, or we can generate 70 megawatts. We have a demand for 23. Oh, oh, all right. Got to go get, some, got, I, I need more stuff. Wait. Uh, I dropped Disney and Netflix getting to be just a spendy cable. Exactly. Yes, you're exactly right. Um, we're keeping Netflix right now because we're watching, uh, The Walking Dead. We're on season six and there's 11. Um, I don't know if we're going to try any of the spinoffs, um, because I think those are going to be on Amazon Plus. Um, I like Amazon. I used to really love HBO and, and I thought this was going to be a good thing. When, when HBO and Discover merged and brought all that content, their interface got horrible. I can't find anything unless I do a direct search. Um, all right, let's do, okay, same thing. Do this. And uh, I do enjoy watching the Marvel movies, so Disney might stay. Um, I, I think Alex's folks do a lot of babysitting of uh, uh, her nieces and nephews. And they use Disney Plus a lot for the kids. So, and I think we're splitting it with them for that purpose. But with all the streaming services cutting down on password sharing, that might become a thing of the past. All right, we ran out of power poles, ran out of a bunch. These guys just ran out of juice. But um, Alex made a, a great suggestion that if these streaming services get so darn expensive, you know, what we keep one like Amazon and you can still rent or buy a movie or we buy the Blu-ray, <laughs> you know, if you watch a movie more than once a year. So if you go to the movies, it's what 20, we'll say $25 just to get in with maybe a snack. So right there, that's the price of a movie when it comes out on Blu-ray. So you've paid for it once. And if you watch it again, then, you know, it's just pays, pays off. So I need to copy this and I guess we can actually do that down here. I'm just kind of guessing where I need it because I need to drag copper. So that's why we did that. I'm assuming we need iron. Oh, excuse me. One sec, guys. Disney is going to jump. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. Netflix the same. A lot, uh, a lot of the stuff I watch is on Amazon Prime. I just keep Prime because of the shipping. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the exact same thing, Ray's. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so we got to go back and get some more stuff. I'm completely out of stuff. Just ran it. Oh, it's a save. 
Uh, what we're finding out is that we, Lady Rogue and I, <laughs> barely watch a few hours of TV together. It's usually on Sunday morning. I'll watch some football or baseball, but the Red Sox have been doing awful this year, so I barely watch any of them. You know, I like a little downtime. I do. I, I like watching, but I seem to gravitate a little bit more to Amazon because I can pretty much find everything. But um, I, I think I'm going to have to ramp up, go through our Blu-ray collection, start ripping them and putting it on my Plex server. That way, you know, I don't have to get up and swap discs because I'm that lazy. I, we we tried out Apple for a little bit. I enjoyed the uh, Tom Hanks movie, um, Grey Wolf or whatever it was called. That was a good movie. All right. Uh, let's go to Gamer Circle Unload. Lex, I see you are also a man of culture. Sure. I was told that I should use Jellyfin instead of Plex, but I've already got Plex set up. Um, and I got the free version. The buying it means I could have a DVR function, I think. I don't know, but uh, one step at a time. And a culture, sure. All right. We need to get restocked, please. Need a lot of stuff. Flex makes you nervous. Why? Uh, I'm adding to my Plex library as we speak. Nice, Ryan. Can watch on the TV or my phone. Yeah, that's what I like about. Yeah. I had Plex while the wife was live. Uh, I may look into something similar. You know, and I use it because if I've ripped a movie like I, I enjoy watching Avengers Endgame or uh, some of the. Um, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and I can't always find those but since I own them and I rip them then I can just stream them when I want yeah it looks like it's written by a bunch of teenagers who are in there really huh Well, they, uh, they're VC back, so they have to be somewhat intelligent. So see jellyfin is what makes me nervous because it's open source. I think Plex used to be, but not, not, not anymore or part of its open source. No, there's nothing wrong with open source. Um, it's just that. So, so take a fantastic product that's open source, like um, OBS, all right? And then people take it and tweak it, and then they call it their version of OBS, and then try to do things like trademark it, stuff like that. that that's what scares me. Firefox is open source? You, you mean when, when it was Mosaic? Trademark bars are broken and compared. Oh yeah, yeah, but it causes it causes the wrong amount of stress because if if the end user is using something open source and all of a sudden there's a, a legal battle, you don't know what's going to happen when you put all your personal time and effort into using something. Like when Streamlabs was doing their, their Streamlabs OBS and they tried to trademark OBS, taking away from the open source. Now, I don't want to get I don't want to get invested in something and. and I don't mind using open source, but it it scares me. That's why I use Plex because it's it's uh you know an actual it's like buying Windows, you know. I I know, I know, I know it's it's not I didn't say that open source is a problem. It's what people can do with open source that can cause a problem. Open source projects are allowed to trademark stuff. Yes, 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 absolutely, yes. But 
change the product enough to where you're not plagiarizing and then try to go after the people that are doing the open source. That's the problem that I, I don't want to run into. Oh, do I need all these drills? Yeah, I do. Closed source? You, you mean like the different licenses? Like the, um, what do they call it? The, um, plagiarism is a copyright law, not a trademark. All right, then maybe I didn't mean trademark. Maybe I meant copyright. Whatever Streamlabs tried to do, it, it put a halt on the open source because they had to go and fight a legal battle. As short-lived as it was, it put a little bit of fear into me because I use open, I use OBF and I didn't want to have to buy something or change something because darn it, I got a lot of time invested in my setup. So with Jellyfin or, um, I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, there was something else I was going to try. Jellyfin is something else. Jellyfin looked like it was pretty much plug and play. Um, more friendly for Linux, though, than Windows. All right. Looks like we're all restocked. Yep. All right. Wait, I want to know how many of that. Ooh, okay. Hello. Check on the hole here. Wait. All right. Firefox used to be called Firebird and they changed the name because of a trademark. Jeff. Um, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm not, that's right. Firefox wasn't mosaic. Wasn't that Netscape that was mosaic? Or something like that. We want to go to the rocket site. I mean, you're talking to someone that uses a lot of mods for a lot of his games. So yeah, I, I, I enjoy open source, but I just don't want to put time and effort into something which I don't have a whole lot of and have to redo it because of some jerko, you know? All right, now, if I did this right. Yay, all right. Just make sure I had that in place just in case I forget to do that. I have a feeling this is going to put a lot of stress on our power here. That's actually happened to me. It, it really has happened to me. When, when uh, I lived in Sacramento, the, um, the cable service I was, that gave me cable and internet was called Sacramento Cable. And they did, they just closed their doors. And uh, it was like about a week and a half later that Comcast came in and bought up their assets. And then, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, it's not like I was dying because I didn't have access to the internet. It was just, you know, caught in the middle and then you got in whatever you're paying for one, all of a sudden it goes up. Yeah, it was terrible. Most of your mods have far more restrictive licenses than most open source programs. They are necessarily open source due to the nature of the uh, user agreement, but it doesn't mean you have freedoms because of it. 
don't know what you mean by that. If it's a certain license, you can do a fork off of it and you can do whatever you want with it pretty much based upon the license. All right, so we want to balance here. I need, oh, wait, wait, before I do that. I'm, of course, speaking with uh, GitHub references. I don't think we're gonna need any drills for a while, so let's zero that out. That is license based, not because of open source. sec <laughs> evidently i was running too many copies of uh my chat program uh and i didn't know it um but languages like ex expose the source therefore the content is technically open source but it doesn't mean it's So yes, it depends upon the license, I guess. The thing about it, so the, just plain and simple without getting whatever my wording is incorrect, I don't wanna get caught. Like I was almost caught before because of jerk A and nice software people B, because it puts me C in a possible bind. And I wanna be not in a bind. So that's why I prefer, prefer Plex because it's not open source anymore. Uh, so, so you're saying if I actually buy a product, there is a chance that something could happen and it could put me into a debacle. Sure, yes. I'm not 100% guaranteed protected. But. I'm just, I'm just gonna go with my stance and uh, you guys can go with your stance. Uh, do I, need, I need to balance this. All right. My statement, however, may, may be flawed is me saying that I almost got stuck in the middle of something that could have affected me because of bad people and good people, jerks and no jerks. And I don't want to be put in that position before. And OBS, even though it's under the GPL license 2.0, they were at risk because someone tried to trademark and that would have given Streamlabs say so over their product. 
for windows oh yeah i hated it it was pretty but i hated it um so if streamlabs would have won they would have been able to do what they wanted to do with the name obs i guess but would have obs been impacted as a product maybe they would have had to change their name or something i i guess i don't know um i guess my my very direct the point here boo is keeping it simple And, uh, you know, I don't keep my ear to the grindstone on every single aspect of every single thing that I use in my so-called production, but that was a big one to me. And what everyone was saying, and probably everyone, most people were wrong, was that things were, if something would have gone through, then it would have made, I would have had to make some changes. Let me reiterate, I would have had to make some changes and I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna put that too close. Nope, that works. Barely. Nope. All right. Now that doesn't directly line up, but maybe that's okay. Darn rocks. So I think I found a possible hiccup in my plan here. So I want to do eight and I'm only doing four. Um, well, maybe, okay. So hopefully I can use up this copper before I add the other four silos. And then I have more room. Cause I think what I'm going to have to do is, um, Yeah, if I put the other four down here, I, I need to need I need to leave enough room for a belt. So hopefully I can use up these big chunks of resources before I expand because I think what I'm going to have to do is this is going to get in the way of other belts. I think not that, but that one. Arrow was. Uh, Windows introduced in Windows Millennium or seven? Is that what we're talking about? Maybe I'm thinking of AERO. Are you thinking about the uh, over the air television stuff? All right, so now we have, um, oh, okay. So we have to do batteries to get that going. All right, that's gonna be interesting. So, uh, power, how's the power? We're gonna have to shift over to power. Actually, we can, well, during the day, we generate quite a bit of power, actually. All right, so with batteries, we need uh, some oil. 
So crude oil, no wait, battery we need sulfur. So sulfur is going to come from a refinery. All right. So why do I want to do that? Oh, geez. Why do I want to do batteries is because of that. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to bring in this and something else and put them on the same belt. So if I make the batteries up here, drag them down, unload them, and then combine them with that. All right, that's what I'll have to do. That's what I'll have to do. So let's bring a rail system down. <sighs> Wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Uh, so if I go to my oil refineries, I want to make batteries, I need to, so I'm going to need plastic. So if I do this one, I still get still um, sulfur, I think. How's sulfur made again? Sulfuric acid that needs, okay. Um, so making sulfur means I can make the batteries. Wait, batteries need sulfuric acid. All right, so, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I just might as well. Um, it was a company that hosted DVRs with personal antennas attached to each box that sat on a data center. It let the subscriber watch and record broadcast TV. Um, the rationale was that it didn't matter if you personally recorded the broadcast TV or if they helped you do it with an antenna on top of this uh, neat concept, but it was launched by New York to Boston. Well, TiVo, this sounds almost like Tableau. Tableau, you can do the same, th same thing. You plug an antenna in and then you can, uh, if you hook up a USB drive, you can record. All right, so first of all, I need to get some oil going here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 23. All right, so let's say 30, 30 pump jacks, which by the way, I don't know if I'm automating these or not. Um, I don't need that. Dang it, I mean to do that. Okay, let's head back. Uh, we've got to do some oil. We've got to try to make some batteries. I had a TiVo, I enjoyed TiVo quite a bit. For what Tableau does, it works pretty darn good. And I have just like one of those very short antennas that's sitting on top of a shelf and the reception we get, it varies if there's, you know, rain or something like that. Where are we heading? You know, if you don't mind commercials, Pluto for content, whether it's a TV series or or uh, a movie, Tubi. So do we have pump jacks in here automated anywhere? Oh, I don't want to get into that. I, I watch everything on a on a on a smart TV though. Uh, 
Uh, do I need these? Don't need... Don't need those anymore. Now, see, there's only... Yeah, there, okay, so I'm not automating those, and I need to. So... That would be a pump jack. There we go. And... Uh, all right, so we'll make one of those. Oh, that's interesting. But it's interesting, in the world of watching television through uh, an antenna and watching something commercial, you know, you... When you grow up with that, you're, you're accustomed to it, even though you don't like it. Then all of a sudden, now you're watching, you know, um, television series like Happy Days, Walking Dead, whatever you're watching. And there is no commercials, but you can tell you can tell where the commercial was because of the fade. And then when you decide to save a little money and go to an ad supported, uh, then you get commercials. You're just going, oh. All right, so do that, that. All right, cool. That. That, and we'll just make that. All right, so do I, I don't have enough pump jacks. We have six, so I am going to make. It. As soon as I get some more pipe. I guess I'm competing for pipes because of, of that. <laughs> um, how many do I have? I have 20, so five. Oh, we're gonna need um, refinery too. So I'm gonna do plastic. So we need, um, Three refineries, 17. One, two, three, and then 17, five. Go up here and get the pipes myself.
I'm still not very happy with how washed out I look. I know it's not super bad, but uh, I'm going to try to adjust it here. So let's bring down the gamma again. And the contrast. Maybe not. How about the brightness? You think I need some sun? Yeah, I'm like a matchstick. I go out there for too long, I cry. All right, let's go with that. My green screen is so janky that to get it to work, I end up looking red. Well, um. I'm, I'm playing with uh, added a new light and I'm just trying to get it to where it looks okay to me, but I'm looking at a monitor versus what's on the web. And I was watching on a TV, a 4K TV, but I don't record in 4K. And it looked like I, I had too much sun or too much, too much sun, too much uh, light. So, but I also don't want to jeopardize the actual green screen but anyways i digress all right let's go set up an oil it got better when i added a third light which i didn't need at the old office uh mainly because i'm back i mean i can i can scoot back quite a bit because I still have wall and I, I didn't have that much space between me last time. My two lights that I were using I actually raised so they would actually hit the green screen more than me. And then uh, Alex and I found the ring light that I used to use before I got a desk. <laughs> I was using her desk for a while when I moved out. All right, uh, oil, it's up here. Um, but then by adding the ring light, which I can't adjust, it has a diffuser on it, but I can't, I, all I can do is turn it on and off. And all my lights are from, how do you pronounce it? Newer? N-W-E-W-E-R. N -E 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 That's hard to say. All right, so this is the one that we're going to do oil on. And we want to drag it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um... For power, I guess, yeah, let's choose those. Then turn that on. Bet I do not have enough pipes. Never have enough pipes. All right. Um, then let's drag, oh wait, the plastic refinery. It's going to need water and we have water in the south so let's put the refinery down here a, a little bit Then we want to store the oil. So the oil comes in. Oh, I'm all out of pipes. All right, so hang on. 5, 10, 15, 20. We're all out of pipes. All right, I need to go get stuck up on more pipe. Stock up on uh, 250. And then 250. This is going to take forever, so I don't need this anymore. I can zero that out. Um, can I make, let's store it. Oh, yep. oh I do. But I, I got, 
One more shelf rail. I got to go strip all the green paint off and sand it. And um, I don't know if I want to tackle trying to mount that. I might get my stud finder out. Then uh, I'd have to paint it. I want to do that before we put all the paint away. But I also have some cable management I got to take care of because I want to move the subwoofer underneath the desk so I have more room because we're moving in this week. I do look a little pink, don't I? No, that's not my natural hue. Let's try that. And it's going to change when I move the light anyways. All right. So do we have, we have storage. Here we go. Boom. All right. I really need 2,000. I don't think I need 2,000 anymore. Not right now, anyways. There's probably a more efficient way of doing this. I'm just tackling this one product at a time, I guess. Oh, oh I thought we were going to crash. All right. You know what game I miss playing? XCOM. All right, so while we're down here, uh, we're just restocking. The original XCOM games, very hard. And then when they uh, re-released it, I had so much fun with that game. And then XCOM 2 was just as good. So I am looking forward to Starfield. I will be playing that. I, uh, Alex and I bought the, or actually she gifted me a cop, the deluxe version, so uh, instead of being September 6th, it'll be, you know, what is it, August 30th or something like that. So, that Friday? No, that would be one, two, three, four, five. So the first, but oh, we get to preload on the 30th. Hey, it's funny, I never really enjoyed turn-based games. I will point out that the original can now be played with mods through open XCOM. Updated graphics, mod support, a lot of bug fixes. Oh, uh, I had a hard time going back to playing Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer was the RTS game that I played the, the dickens out of. I had so much fun with that game. Played with my friends. Um, and then uh, Warcraft came out and I didn't play it as much because Warcraft was much more intriguing. And then there was uh, Age of Empires, Rise of Nations, Empire Earth. Um, I really got into RTS games for a long time there. And a survival game, I never thought I would ever want to play a survival game until in Kerbal, I was playing with a survival mod. I went, wow, this is actually kind of fun and stressful at the same time. I tried uh, playing Tiberium Sun of all things, and the AI is built out of tissue paper. I, I had a hard time that whenever I was trying to collect uh, uh, the spice, that uh, they were just so slow. Oh, the pathing, I think is what was killing me. All right. 
We're good here, right? I still need to get my hands on Final Fantasy Tactic. Oh, I've been told that that's the closest you'll get to the Vandal Hearts from back in the PS1 days. That's something that Alex would know about. She's a huge console gamer. What am I? Oh, I need to go to the rocket. Now, I, I've uh, I tried to play console games. The only thing I had a lot of fun on a console was I did play a lot of uh, Madden's football. Didn't know anything about statistics. I just had fun setting up plays. All right, Orion. Um, you know, I, I, I'd always put my favorite team at the time, which was the Dolphins, up against and just play until like the inning, you know, the halftime or something like that. up here oh I gotta make one of those that said the open XCOM I can absolutely recommend the XCOM files imagine original XCOM but you start off as an FBI equivalent two years before the start of the alien invasion with no UFO defense and terror from the deep baked in. I barely remember that. Oh, you're scaring me. All right, what do we need? What am I missing? Uh, I need three of those. One, two, three. I played the original XCOM game on my gateway IBM. IBM. Uh, God, what was it? DX33 Turbo. No, DX66 Turbo. Um, oh, we need power. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Okay, so that, this needs to go here. And then we need power to that. Now, if those get charged, all those warnings should go away. All right, sweet. Wait a minute. Is that in the wrong spot? Huh. Why is that not powered? Interesting. Oh, yeah. All right, so what, what's going on here? How come that doesn't want to get powered? Is there a power pole missing? No. Uh, what do I need here? Six. Five, six, and then seven. Five, six, seven. All right, so if I put this right. there oh yay it's all about placement all right cool um all right so there's the oil can i oh i can come right out of here and do oil i, I never thought about doing that Yeah, I actually didn't know anything about IBMs. Um, I worked for a company that was kind of a pioneer in online uh, gaming. They were called MPGN, Multiplayer Games Network. And their bread and bun bread and bunner was a game called Kingdom of Drakkar. Um, I think it's still around. The graphics do not look like that. Um, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, this is the gameplay. This was what I played on my Commodore Amiga. 
and it's not turn-based it's not real time they have a little a little uh heartbeat indicator right here when it's green you can do and when it's red it's doing it but it's like a, a microsecond and then you know this is the npcs or player characters that are in the area this person has a bow with some healing and no no this this is a mud this was originally a mud you're right it's a multi-user dungeon yeah I had a lot of fun with that game. I worked for that company and I always feel old when I talk about my Amiga 500. I love the Amiga. You know, it was such a, a computer ahead of its times, I thought, because the, the unique chipset with the operating system made it a true multitasking versus <clears throat> Windows on an IBM compatible, you know? All right, so where do we get the water from? Here? That's the oil. Oh, that's the water. All right, so can... Oh, I can do this. And then... Now, I had an Amiga 1000. I skipped the 500, and I went to a 2000, upgraded it to a 2500, and uh, never, never needed a 3000. And then the company I went to work for, primarily my job interview was at Comdex. If you want to date yourself, talk about Comdex. Um, so they flew me out. And I, I, uh, I was basically one of the people at the, at the game. And I was talking about it and giving demos. Never was an Amiga, but my neighbor had a Commodore 64. I had a 128. We played so many games. Yeah, I played a ton of games on my Commodore Six, uh, Commodore 128. And before that, I played a lot of games on a TRS-80 Model 1. Yeah. All right, so we are primarily doing this to get the sulfur. Which, okay. So that should fill up on sulfur. No, 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 no. We want to do sulfuric acid to make batteries. And eventually we'll get the plastic. Uh, we had an Atari 2600 and a Commodore 64. My, a friend of mine, a uh, longtime friend had a, uh, and he still has it, the Atari 2600. We played a lot of racing games on ice. That was always a lot of fun. All right, so hang on. What do I got to do here? To make batteries, I need sulfuric acid. So to get sulfuric acid, which will come from here, we need iron plates which we happen to have iron right down here so we're gonna have to do a train to pick up the batteries that we have to make indy 500 i don't know what it was it was i i honestly can't remember and even if i looked it up i probably wouldn't recognize it you know you use the paddle to to, to steer and you could change, uh, you could change the terrain somehow. We, I think it was just a, a game option. All right, so pick up the iron down there, drop it off. Um, then we make the batteries, which we get sulfuric. Oh, then we have to bring up copper. Okay, so starting to get a little more complicated. So let's get the, I was fortunate that my neighbor had an older brother born in the early eighties. So he had bootleg copies of a lot, Oil Imperium. Ooh, I played a lot of um, Hammurabi. And then I figured out that you could actually <laughs> break into it, change the variables and then continue. So, but the, the game that really sucked me in, hang on, let me see if I can, I think it's called Strategic Conquest. Which I think... Yep, here it is. Um, I think the people that made the game got in trouble it was a turn-based strategy game and you had 
ships, you had tanks, you had army men, and you tried to take towns and stuff like that. I think, and I'm not going to read the wiki here, they got in trouble because it was based upon a book and they didn't get permission to do it, so they had to stop. Uh, but then there was another game that came out called Empire that was almost exactly the same, and I played the dickens out of that. All right, so hang on. Let's put... So this is going to give us our sulfuric acid when we bring in the iron. So if we bring in the iron and the copper, because this is going to need copper. So I need, I need uh, some unloading stations here. Thinking, thinking. Because if I unload the copper, we can use it for the batteries. I, I, I had a lot of fun. Well, and I, I would say that I had a lot of fun calling a friend of mine had a compact green screen, but there was one game he had called the ancient art of war. And that was, I think the first computer game I ever really played outside of a, a of an arcade. All right, I'm thinking, thinking here that we have to do some ta uh, tanks. <laughs> we have to do some, uh, I think I did that wrong. I think I'm, I, I, I misclicked. Okay. So we're going to load up copper, load up iron, but first we're going to load up iron because that's what this needs, right? Yeah, it needs iron plates. All right. So let's do an unloading. Let's make all this um, iron plates for sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. Right. Tally ho, Intrex. How the heck are you doing? Um, do we have the, we can, um, all right, that's our drop off. And then we'll just, um, actually we're going to unload them right to, uh, hang on. Uh, quad taught me this, that I shouldn't do this when I'm doing simple stuff like that. So we're just going to unload them to a couple of, uh, onto one side here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Stop it. So we're going to drop them off and let a little logistics network do what it needs to do do do. So I want to put um, enough charging
So we won't need all of this. I probably should have just copied the one station that I'm doing this on. But this is good practice, I think. So the train will come here, unload to No oh, no, not those. Dang it. Hum. <clears throat> oh, back off. Let's try this again. So we unload to these. And request to here, like it's doing right now. Then it makes this sulfuric acid and dumps it into there, I think. Then we'll take the sulfuric acid out, make the batteries over here because we're gonna have um, oh, I should just copy this. We're going to do the same thing with um, Hopper. Yeah, she. Hopper. All right, that'll be the iron plates, copper plates, and then we'll make the batteries somewhere over here. All right, let's go. Um, so I need to swing out and do a train over here. Do I have any? I don't have hardly any rails, so we're not, not even going to try it. We have to go back and get some rails. Stuff. Um. Hang on. So before I, I can even get that going, we have to. I don't want to pull from here because that's for the rocket. That's dumb. Okay. Here's a copper. There's an iron. Okay. Boy. There's a copper right there. All right, so rail. Okay. All right, all right. Rails and drilling. We're doing more drilling here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. 
Don't have anything really going yet. I'm getting nervous on. So we're gonna do more rails, more drills. So put the drills up to 250. Put this up to 1500. How about 2000? Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, I have a copper right here that we're going to utilize. Then we have this iron right here because these are going to be for there. We're going to drop drills, smelt, load it, and then drop it off. And we'll do the same thing here. So we have to bring this over and down and do the same thing. Same-o, same-o. All right, so uh, tonight after the stream, I'm gonna try to strip the green paint off of my last shelf bracket. And then actually the shelf holders have got green paint on them too. I gotta take that off. Um, and then I'm gonna try to line them up and, and maybe mount them behind my curtain. I gotta be careful because I think I've only got one stud in the middle and the two are on the far extreme. So yeah. Um, then I'm going to try to do some cable management. Oh, geez. What do I got too much of here? What do I have too much of? Um, all right, let's dial this back to 1500. And when Alex gets here, we're going to measure windows for curtains and um, figure out where we're gonna put bowls and pots and pans and plates and stuff. Do I need, I need the drills. I'm trying to figure out, okay, I don't need bullets. I guess I do. I have that set, just say 200. Go. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to get that hung so I can paint that so we can put the paint away and all the painting stuff. Oops. We got everything we need. Well, not everything, but most. Thank you. 
Hmm. Wait, did we get the water in there? Yeah, we did. I forgot. What am I doing? Yes, yeah, so we want to bring this over. That's the copper we're going to drill, but I need to bring this over and then down to get that stuff. Yeah. How much further? A couple more. And if we get our turn, looks like it's going to just miss the oil. a problem if I pull that I don't have enough room to smelt well uh um yeah so let's dig this up for a second let's get the smelting dialed in smelting. Go left let's skip Uranium. And I need to make That's the place that I wanted to fill in. Darn it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Meet you half. Yeah. 
I don't think. I gotta, I gotta stop putting those. I need to do a one, two, three, four, five, six to two. Wow. What the heck am I doing? All right, um, oh. All right, now. No, don't put it there. Oh. Game is getting all chunky. I somehow I got Snap installed. How the heck do I... What did I do on that? There we go. Somehow that... No. That's weird. Um, yeah, hey, fix it. Let's uh, go over here. That that okay. Catch up, guys. Okay. Um looking for loading. Um, 
Try that again. If I put that there, it's not enough room. I guess I could do that. I could squeeze that through there. All right, so we want to do one of those and okay, this is going to be the same. This. This will be a pickup. All right, can I make a train? I can. gonna take a while but that's okay it's not gonna take a whole lot of this to get sulfuric acid going all right uh choo-choo train there he is all right and then we'll give him a little bit of fuel which I guess I'll have to give him some coal. Let's um, get this guy set up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the refueling station, which is way over here. Hopefully he makes it. In activity, then we're gonna go to that we're gonna wait for empty cargo we're gonna come back to there oh no no <clears throat> I'm, I'm curious how far will the Cole get him. I wonder if he'll get to refueling in time. I'm pretty fast. Chances are I should actually put a refueling station on this side too. Just we're not making uh, solid fuel yet.
All right, he made it. Sweet. All right, so now we should be heading to the unload location. So that's not going to go anywhere until we get the logistics bots out here. So we'll, uh, we'll head out and do that. And we should be going to the... Cool. All right. Okay, can I hop out without dying? Yay. All right. So this ain't going to work like that. So if I do... So these are going to sit here until the logistics bots is this, this has got a request for those bump that up to 60 or, uh, about a thousand. So they'll run back and forth, bringing that creating the sulfuric acid. All right. So all we have to do is uh, my train. And we have to request, I'm going to say, you know, 100 logistics spots. Should be, let's do 150. Because they're going to have to do copper also. <laughs> Oops. Um, that's the iron. We have to do the same thing with copper too. All going for a train ride. Excuse me. Breaking news. Tropical Storm Herald makes landfall in Texas. Oh, dang. It's horrible.
Holy shnike, you look at all those bots coming in here. Uh, let's reduce this to... Uh, Oh, I don't need that many rails. I oh, got it. Um. Uh, where's our battery manufacturing? Right there. Um, to get sulfuric acid going. Because that would be a step in the right direction. Because it's going to be iron and batteries going in. Oh, someone's chasing us. Oh, they're following us. I think because we don't have a payload, we're going faster. They turned off. We're safe. All right, so we have got iron. Huh. Why is, where's he at? Is he still filling up? Oh, he's about to have full cargo. Okay, let's go to the unload. Now, if we drop, see if I do this right. They're gonna grab and go. I think this is gonna work. And we're making sulfuric acid. Nice, all right, so let's just dump the rest of you guys in there. We can set this to zero. zero. All right. All right, and then the batteries. Um, I have a wacky idea. What if I put the battery production right there and drag it over here to be picked up? I think that could work. So we need, uh, what am I missing? Eight. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. And how many red inserters? Four. Pew pew. Not really, but soon. All right. That's going to be our sulfuric storage, I think. So sulfuric acid comes out of here.
was watching Heart of Stone. I don't know that movie. All right. Um, oh, the new one. Oh, I got you. Where she was, uh, all of her constituents thought she was like an entry level, and then she's like this top level. I got you. I was watching Red, R-E-D, Bruce Willis, uh, Malkovich, based upon a comic book, by the way, too, I believe. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I, I'm going to, I think Blue Beetle, I think is going to be a big success. So now we just need, um, wait, 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 I, I can do part of this, that, then we put a request for, uh, let's just say 500. We have to get power to it. I'm in the way. And then the other side, we just do copper. And then the batteries are going to come out here. We we'll put these in a bucket for right now. Um, All right, so that that's running that, and we got to do uh, we got to go dig up the copper and smelt it. And we're gonna do that right up there. Drag down, smelt, over. All right, all right, let's do it. Oh, freeze. i going to work on the power. Speaking of power with all this going on. This. Down. All right, then what do we got here? We've got basically one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so again, we'll do another six to two.
Did that wrong. There's a lot more drills are needed. No. Fine. And this will be for um, that. Pick up. All right. Get some power to the smelters. See if we made enough drills. Oh, I don't think we did. I'm stuck. How many do we need? Nine. Nine drills. I can only make one, so I'll have to come back with... Uh, 20 drills. All 
Alright, let's um do this. Nine, 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 nine. nine. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go for a ride with this, make sure it works. We're gonna add a little fuel. Look at that, we got some fuel. First, we're gonna take you and get fuel, which is right here. Then we're gonna take you to your drop-off location, which is the copper. Back up here. Cargo. And what, what's missing? Oh, box. Hmm. All right, let's get this. Let's go for a ride. See if this works. Actually, let's go to the unload. We got enough fuel. Oh, they're coming for copper. Oh, no, they're doing trash. I don't have any. Dang it. Oh, all right. Never mind. You guys took that. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, did I not request copper? So we're requesting 500. Request. The uh, copper. 500. And we're grabbing it. And I believe we are making batteries. All right, sweet. Oh, that was a lot of coordination. All right. Um, let's just go for a ride, make sure this works. No, I am not on the train. All right, well, still follow it. Oh, you're going to go up there. All right. What if I say to go to refuel? Oh, look at that. Nice. All right. All right, so we got the batteries. We don't have the iron yet. I mean, um, it just has to be drilled, smelted. And then I guess what I could do is drop off the batteries here and then combine them. That would probably be the smart thing. Where am I at? I have some rails. Let's go do that right now. At least we can get the truck, the track, the truck, the track foot in place. What's this doing for pollution way over here? All right, so far so good.
Oh, we're having to wait on a train. Very busy intersection. Alright guys, this is a good stopping point. Tomorrow we will collect the batteries, merge them with the iron plates, get that into the rocket silos, and then move on to, I don't know what plastic is paired with, but we can get coal dug up, delivered, making the plastic, picking up the plastic, dropping that off. So a lot of a lot of combo lines coming up. But let's roll the credits here. Brr, credits. Brr. Julian, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? You guys have a fantastic rest of your day.